Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is RimWorld. Oh, so last time we were patching everybody up pretty well. Um, I think just about everyone is healed. We did grab up a crashed escape pod victim, a space refugee. Um, the difficulty to recruit that person is only about 84%, 86%, something like that, uh, versus the 99% difficulty in trying to recruit a pirate. So we should have a better time of that, and all hands can help. These really high crafting and art skill a little bit in uh, research and some other stuff. I think construction or something like that. Uh, but she is going to be definitely useful in the colony here. Uh, aside from that, it's been suspiciously quiet. I'm definitely worried that we're going to get pretty quickly into some sort of madness here. It looks like Tapir has still got a few scratches from that emu attacked him. Basically the same with Gracie here. Here, what are you doing? Consuming a meal? Minio is doing the same. Okay, well, Tapir needs to tend to Gracie before he goes to sleep. Sparkles is the new recruit here. It's even better that she has a cool name like that. It was construction, that's right. And these. A little bit of melee skill, but aside from that, not really good at uh, fighting. One of these two pirates would be better for fighting. Christina especially for shooting. Ally for melee. Melee. Harvesting raspberry bush. That's really strange. This is a a wild bush. It's outside the growing zone. But for some reason Kaminu is going to harvest it. I don't know what that's about. I don't know why they would even attempt to do that. I've seen it a couple of times where there were trees growing outside the growing zone. Down here as well. And uh, they would get cut down without being marked uh, for woodcutting or for harvest or anything like that. So I really don't know what the... Uh, what the logic is there. It's only carrying eight for some reason. I'm not sure why he didn't grab these. Not too bad. <clears throat> Brixo can go berserk over here, that's fine. She does have a major infection though. She's 4% advanced on her immunity. So hopefully she passes out soon. Bit of malnutrition, that's probably what drove her over. The psychic drone isn't helping anything either. He's just decided to lay into her for no reason. Alright, break, so don't don't interrupt Tapir here. Elk does need to be fed. Ugh. Gross. It's definitely gonna get in the way of getting that accomplished. Um let's see, where is Tapir's bow, because I'm pretty sure these are both horrible, horrible quality they are. Hey, 
And he... Well, he's crafting a four. I might see if he can craft up a bow himself. There's a normal one over here. Suppose we could, uh... Try to beat up Brixo. Get her to fall down, because she does need treatment right away. That might actually be a decent course of action. We're just gonna have to. She's starving too, so unless we take her down, uh, she's gonna be in really worse shape than she is right now. Come on to Pierre, got faith in you. Your equal, equal melee skill. Come on, take her down. One more hit. One more hit. Come on. You can do it. Oh, you gotta be... <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I don't want her to use the spear, because it's... bleeding damage and stuff. Go... with the one-armed attack here. Ah. Oh. Of course, break so it gets the first hit. Okay. Go ahead and rescue her. To Pierre, I'm ashamed of you. That was a terribly shameful display. I don't think Caminio or Elias have decent medicine. Well, Caminio's a four. Not the worst I've ever seen. Gracie still looks terribly beat up. He's okay. This is a 7, so I'd rather him treat the infection here. As soon as he's able to get up. In my mind, he shouldn't be incapacitated right now. <coughs> And it's possible that he's not incapacitated. Oh man. I should have sent Elias to come and tend to him because Elias just tends to them really fast. Going heal root. Uh, compete breaks up. Because she's really upset about not having food. Fine. And then Elk should be getting a meal. Oh, one of the prisoners is going berserk here. <laughs> I always like watching that. She's beating on the door and she's repairing it just a little bit quicker 
that she's able to tear it down. Yeah, her immunity's fallen about four below. I hope he uses that medicine for the immunity rather than, or for the infection rather than for the other stuff. Let's see if Gracie can do this. Unfortunately, Christine is much better melee character than Gracie is. Okay. Fortunately, we were able to get it done, though. There we go. Okay, he did. He did use the medicine on here. Still four below, but hopefully it's close enough that she will uh, be fine. Let's take a look at her needs again. Exceptional pain, but she has the catharsis now. Acute pain, so that's decreased already. Very ugly environment, that's from the blood and stuff. Nope, breaks over. Rest until you're healed, girl. I refuse to allow you to die from infection. All these herbs. Yeah, Elias is doing a really good job keeping up with the food. That's pretty much his only job though, so if he was doing bad at it, I would be pretty upset. Tapir could work on his uh, medicine skill, tend up to all of these bruises and stuff here. Gracie's planting, breaks those in a bad way. But she's no longer incapable of walking, which is a little strange. Her immunity is catching up though. Quickly enough that I'm not too worried about her. She should be fine. It's tending again in eight hours, so hopefully Tapir is through with this. Gets a little bit of rest before he has to be back in here. Grace is coming in to rest, but I'm going to see if she can do a little bit of cleaning beforehand. A little bit of interrupted sleep there, but not too bad. There's still a little bit of dirt around, but better than it was. See if Elias will take care of it. Oh no, Tapir is wandering around the psychotic state because of his acute pain. Oh, come on, buddy. Still upset about Nightingale for 10 more days. Somebody insulted him, Kamenio. Kill to call any animal. I think that was uh, when I designated that wild boar to be slaughtered because it had no legs. Get over it, Tapir. Would you rather have the wild boar just sitting there 
around there like elk, not able to do anything or contribute in any way. I'm still not seeing any more wild boar around. It's a little sad, but just the way it goes. Yeah, Tapir needs to wake up in about four hours and not be psychotic anymore. Right, her immunity's just taken over infection level. But unless she can build up the immunity within the two hours, there we go. Perfect. 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 Marble blocks. That's kind of cool. I'll accept that. Those will probably never be hauled, but I'll designate it nonetheless. More cargo pods right in a row. Chocolate this time. Very cool. I was going to try to get Gracie to uh, come and hold him, but I realized that was not a good choice. Alright, Tapir, you're off the hook because Brakeso is immune now and not going to immediately die from her disease, so... Alright, Camino is almost full power here. bit of planting for daylilies and stuff in Tapir's room. Pretty nice. Did Elias clean up all the dirts? No. No, he didn't. Ah. The second time I've clicked on the wrong one there. So was not able to walk for the time being. Okay, Elias, I was waiting for you to wake up so you could go grab this chocolate. He wants to relax socially, but I have other plans. Long walk, but I trust you. You can do it. Oh, I've only just realized also there's no bed in here. There doesn't need to be right now, but I feel like it'll help. Go ahead and hold this chocolate, because I know he can't get all of it in one go. Alright, breaks over. Breaks over. <laughs> but seriously, though, get to work. Not being a mad woman. All right, Sparkles, no need to cause trouble here. What is Sparkles melee again? Four. Pretty sure Gracie's is about in the same range. Two. And she's already bruised up. He's going to repair the door again. Which is fine. Uh, maybe one of these other prisoners will wake up and go after Sparkles. Well, she's actually able to do some pretty good damage to the door when she keeps on going. Yeah, she is actually breaking it down faster than Gracie can repair it.
below here. I just take a break, Sparkles. Or she did for a second. Oh, I thought Kaminio got here before Elias did. I thought there's no possible way. She has one arm and one leg. How did she beat Elias to the stockpile here? Where is Elias? What he's doing? Pretty sure there's going to be more chocolate here. Oh no! It looks like they've gotten it all. Good. All right. Back to business then. Oh, wow. <laughs> it went a lot quicker and a lot easier than I thought it was going to. Alright. Break so. Go ahead and capture. Already constructing wooden door. Okay. She's gonna tend to them, fix them up so that they're ready to go. What is their biggest problem? Food. Yeah, they're all starving for no reason. I know that we have plenty of food. Um, I guess Brexo was the primary warden and she was very sick. Start taking meals prisoners never do doctoring or wardening okay Pierre is still wandering oh six simple meals have rotted away in storage right when I say we have food well that's a thing thankfully we have built up a bit of pemmican Yep, yep. Oh, elk is starving now, too? Alright, feed elk first. Even though these guys have been starving for longer, I'm sure. Rick, so you're doing a good job patching them up, but I think they need food more than they need medicine. As long as they're laying down, they're going to end up healing. Here is exhausted. Understandably so. Oh good, drone is over, we should have less berserk going on. Rexo will probably prioritize uh, tending wounds once she gets done feeding sparkles here, that's fine. We can get them fixed up, that'll be good. Kind of hoping that Tapir passes out here pretty soon. So we can get him inside, get him saved. I mean, you know, I know you're not the best at hauling, but... I feel like bringing this stuff in is going to be good in preparation for Elias coming in here and making meals. Gracie is doing a good job with the actual growing, so just having things brought in is going to reduce Elias' travel time. He's only able to carry a little less than half a stack, which is okay. That's enough to make three meals, so that's better than... It saves Elias two trips, basically. Time we could clean up the prison. 
I'll keep them from going crazy. Elias, are you actually trying to patch this guy up? Why don't you go ahead and get some cooking done? We're down to seven meals. And Brixo is much better suited for doctor work. Yeah, it's pretty hideous in here. Fantastic. Beautiful. Thank you, Kamenyo. I commend yo you. Ha <laughs> ha ha, I commend Kamenyo. Oh man. There he goes. Yep. I don't want him to starve. I don't mind if he's exhausted or whatever. Getting the heal root harvested is going to be great because we're down pretty low on medicine. Nine with these here. There we go. Another stack of potatoes to bring in. As opposed to our uh, first series, first season playthrough, we're incredibly low on textiles. Which I'm not worried about. It's just a uh, contrast to our first, first goings on. Oh, but the uh, wild boar got pregnant, didn't she? Last time. Without having a male around. Somehow she was impregnated. I'm not exactly sure how to read this, but I'm. It makes sense for it to mean he's been pregnant for eight days out of thirteen total. So I feel like she should uh, bring up patient. That's good. I was gonna see if he could hold his medicine in, but this is preferable. Minio could actually get started on that. Even though she can't carry much, it'll be better than leaving it out here. Wow. Exactly enough where she could carry all of it. That's fantastic. Oh, she's not going to haul. I'm going to forget that almost every time. Elk, how are you? Pretty good. Awful hospital still. Even with the day lilies in there. Only two have been planted. Oh no. Right in the middle of the colony. The whole map shook when that happened. I thought that a crash ship had gone on or something. It's madness. Alright, let's see what it decides to do. Are you going to try to break on the doors? It is. Is this our turkey or is this some random turkey? I feel like it must be a random one. Here's turkey too. Yeah, it's just some random turkey has decided to go crazy. Brixo? Or my girl here? Oh, wow. Very wide. Come on now. Oh. Do 
Get inside. Hurry. Run. Run is after you. Go. Ah, leave the turkey. Just gonna get stuck at the door though. Ouch. Yeah, don't worry, he'll... He's not gonna break it down. He's gonna leave. Oh, I thought he was gonna get some distance, but he's coming back. Alright. Oh. Thought for sure that one was gonna hit. There we go. She's probably going to be tired here in just a minute. Rixo needs treatment, but she just got bit. So she'll probably go rest in one of these beds here. Here, dead yet? No. Still alive, good. She's not even wondering anymore, though. It's also good. Very joy deprived and a moderate amount of pain. Uncomfortable, slept on the ground outside. Worn out apparel. And he's still wearing that stupid parka, too. I guess it is still Decemberary. Decemberary? Anyway. This is where I'm going to leave this episode. Um, if you want to catch the next one, feel free to subscribe. Consider supporting if you would. And be sure to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. Thank you very much for any time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.